The views expressed here are those of the authors and do not in any way represent the views of Sophia TV. Assalamu alaikum, hello and welcome to another edition of Ladies First. I'm joined here by my wonderful panelists Sayyidah Saba, Francesca and Tamara. Um, this is another episode of a Muharram special. Ladies, I'd like to discuss the importance of women and mothers in particular, especially when discussing Muharram. As we all know, a lot of the stories were saved and we know a lot of the stories because a lot of it was relayed by women. And during the month of Muharram, we relay a lot of these stories again, which were saved and you know, discussed with women so that we wouldn't forget the events of Karabala and what happened. So if it wasn't for the um, recalling everything that happened and taking in detail, we wouldn't know as much as we do about our faith today. So what I wanted to discuss with you was, um, as we all know, in Islam, women are looked, mothers are looked upon quite favorably. And there is a verse in the Quran that says, I think it's a hadith or a verse in the Quran where we should respect our mothers. And it's mentioned three times. Hadith. Who, how, how do, it's a hadith. Okay. Well, it basically says, your mother, your mother, your mother, and, and then your, your father. father. Yeah. So what I wanted to ask, because I want to bring it back into the relevance of what these women did to um, oracle what happened to women today in 2015 and the importance of mothers. Do you think in our community that the role of mothers is still celebrated or is it just a word of mouth kind of thing? Do you kind of lip service that really we're not honoured? It's just looked upon as another job that women have to do. But are we really valued? Are we really celebrated? Do you think? I think it's looked at as a job, to be quite honest. I think everything is these days. Mm -hmm. It's almost like everything is a duty you have to do. Just do it, get on with it kind of thing. There's no real appreciation shown, mm -hmm. especially for a role of a mother. I think it's a huge role. You're a mother, you're, you're, you're also a wife, mm -hmm. you're a daughter. You've got so many things that you have to, you have to live up to. Um, and as a mother, I think you know, you're not just nurturing these children, you're educating these children, you're trying to give them moral values. But that doesn't just come from the mother, it should come from the husband as well. You know, the, the, the responsibility should be shared. So mm -hmm. the onus, it shouldn't just lie totally on the mother to be the, the person to be educating and nurturing the child. The husband has to set an example as well. So I think it's a family system, but I don't think women are given that level mm -hmm. of appreciation that they should. See, I would tend to disagree there, especially at um, said to my dressers, there's always a push for your mother, your mother, and you know, on in the religious circles, though, right? Yes, yes. in talk, yeah. and um, that well, no, they have little no. events whereby yeah. your you know, um, certain um, people's birthdays, etc., buy your mother a rose and think yeah. about what, yeah, they even did, you mentioned like in previous in a previous episode when we were talking about marriage, etc., you know, the importance of the mother, especially like in Pakistani community, I assume, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know, definitely, isn't definitely, it? Like, yeah. you know, she has higher status, yeah, and the husband respects her word no matter what, yeah, mm -hmm. even if it sometimes causes issues with his wife, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I think religiously we do have that status for the mother is quite, it's quite high, it's quite, you know, but socially I'm not sure anymore. I don't know how it is. is like, different. yeah, I just, you know, just watch TV, children's TV series, mm. you know, children's channels and the way the children talk back, you mm. know, <laughs> answer back. Good old talking back. back. Seriously, yeah. okay, I mean it. And I think, I don't know, that's not how it used to be in my time. I sound like we an oldie. We did it ourselves but, but didn't realise. I think it depends. I mean, I think sometimes we have this um, notion to say, oh, back in the day, it was yeah. all like as if we didn't have any problems. It's so romantic yeah. back in the olden times. But I think, I think, you know, children naturally push boundaries. I think mm. some of them are more vocal with it, i.e. answering back, and I think others mm. do it in maybe more subtle ways, like, okay, you know, my mum doesn't want me to put nail varnish on, so I'm just going to put a little bit on that mm -hmm. kind of thing. So I think mm -hmm. I think there's a big difference. But I think um, I, th I think one of the things that, in terms of the community, I think what happens, um, and this is not obviously for all communities, but I know in in some areas, the burden I have to use the word burden. That's probably not the right word to use, but it, the responsibility is fully put on the mother for mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, and, it is. and Islamically, mm -hmm. that's actually not how it's supposed to be. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, the education of the Islamic education of the child and 
I mean, correct me if I'm wrong here, but I've, it's supposed to be the mayor, the father that instills that in the children. But quite often, what happens is I don't really know. I don't know. I, I don't know how. I don't know if there is a rule to it. I don't but know if generally I don't speaking, know if there's a rule to it. Mm. But you know, the, the but children do look up to their father. They, they do. You know, boys do generally. Um, they do. But I think what happens is because of the way, obviously, our you know, there's a lot of pressure within society, like economically as well. So quite often, the father is taken out of the home, mm. um, and the responsibility is left on the, on the mother quite a lot. And if the mother mm. is working as well, um, it's a huge, a huge responsibility for it to be on her to. Mm. And I think a lot of the everything. time we romanticise how wonderful being a mother is. You mm. know. Childbirth is not exactly a fun experience, you no, know. It's not. it's not like in the black and white movies where you go in, your hair is done. But then again, you're that's looking why. fabulous, and here's mm. the baby. Mm. It often doesn't work no. out that way. Mm -hmm. And also, there can be some competition between mothers. Like, okay, I've cooked a three-course meal. My house is lovely. I'm having a, a majlis tonight at mm. two, and I'm teaching Abdul Bob. You know, <laughs> Abdul. I'm teaching Abdul Bob. You know, recycling citation of sewer blah 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 what have you done today it's like well I got up I got dressed and that was an achievement <laughs> I got me. a, a snicker class stuck to my abaya <laughs> I'm late mm. again so a lot of the time I I think you know for me personally I'm I, I, I have a son I have dinner but I'm not your quote-unquote maternal kind of oh if I see a baby I'm going to start crying and wailing and I just want to take a picture I'm, I'm the kind of sister that if your colleagues are looking at baby pictures, I'm walking past. I've, I've gone through that, you know, may have nieces and nephews, you know, I mentor children. I don't really, I've gone through that stage. Oh, look, he's having, uh, having an apple. Congratulations. Mm. That's mm. lovely, but it's not for me. Mm. Um, do you think we kind of ostracize people that don't have children? Because just because they're not your children, say like you're teaching them addresser or your guardian to some children or your friends have children, you might be really receptive and open. You might take care of them better than their mothers do because you know, I'm responsible for this child for this set time. But do you think we kind of ostracize women who don't have children or may not aspire to be mothers? Not everybody wants to be a mum. What do you mm -hmm. think? I don't know. I think it depends on the individual. I think some will turn around horrified if another woman says, I don't want children, as in, oh, why wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. um, it's natural, personally, yeah. like, I've got friends that don't have children. Mm -hmm. They don't want children. Um, they might change your mind later. But it's, a, it's their choice. And how is mm -hmm. that going to impact on me? It's, not, it's none yeah. of my business. And it's, it's usually not. the opposite, to be honest. Usually, you know, women are in race with the time, you know, which is why many people, you know, get rushed to marry. Mm. Anyone you know passes by, <laughs> passes by because you know they they they're aware of the biological uh, clock. biological exactly biological clock. I so think, it's it's usually the opposite. Do you mm. guys feel that your role is special, unique? Do you feel any I different? Think so. uh, I think so. I think so. Well, okay, there there is there is a proverb, proverb that says you know educate a woman and you educate a society. Yeah, mm. definitely. She is at the end of the day the woman is the center of the family. Mm. The father may be the provider, but she Just is like the source of Fatima care. Was the center mm. of the family, the center of that household. Yeah, and, there was a research you know. by someone that I don't know the name of mm -hmm. because I don't remember names <laughs> and he's done this research on poor little monkeys and um, and basically he locked up this little monkey um, an orphan monkey and and then they put two um, uh, made up mothers of uh, one one was made of uh, wires mm -hmm. metal wires and then they put a, a, a bottle of milk attached to it and the other was made more to look more comfortable mm -hmm. with a blankie exactly with padding but without milk so, and then they let out that monkey out of, 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 of the cage. So the monkey at first, because he's very hungry, mm -hmm. at first he would go straight to the, you know, to the, to the milk. Mm -hmm. He gets his milk and then straight back to the, to the, to the cuddling mother mm -hmm. and stays with her for 17, 18, you know, for the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. And then only when he's hungry, he goes to take the milk and then goes back to that mother, who is not really a mother, it's just a blanket. Mm -hmm. But that shows you, it's, you know, it's for, the, comfort for the child, the world. Yeah. exactly, love and care, comfort. that's what we mm, crave for. Definitely. More so than, sometimes it's not yeah. about quantity, the amount of time that you spend with them, it's the quality of time yeah. that you spend with them. But are we just know. saying that because we're women? Because I hear a lot of brothers saying, well, you know, 
I can do what you do and mm. you know they need me in a different way but I can be mum and I and I can oh, be it's dad. nice to say but mm. again you know we women and children it's not just that it's also the physical mm. bond mm. that we mm. have mm. the amount of women eye contact we have with children. children yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yes of course how you I mean, bond I'm with not, them I'm not going to take mm. credit from the fathers fathers I'm sure they give love as well and the care and all that but then we do have the, we'll always have that extra mm. thing the physical bond that we have with the children yeah. we carried them and you know there was we gave and that them. emotional bond there yeah. Was, yeah. Um, an example of that mother in Baltimore I don't know if you saw it who um, the riots in America when there was a um, quite a few um, black people who had died in custody mm -hmm. and they went um, a lot well the city of Baltimore a large majority of the black community no let me not say large there was a a proportion of the black community mm -hmm. who um, rioted because of that and she was seen on TV to go there oh, yeah, that and was slapping lady. the living daylights yeah. out of her <laughs> child and yeah. she was commended for yeah. yeah thank God you know well done you for going there mm. and I think she was a single mother who didn't mm. want her, her son to yeah, get into trouble. trouble yeah it's not easy it's not easy you know with teenagers you know, it's, it's much easier just to sit back and let them do what they want and not bother about it and just look away and pretend that nothing is happening. But, to act, you know, for the mother, to, it's, it takes courage and strength and energy to actually educate, to teach, mm. to stop your child mm. and tell them, like, sit, sit them down and tell them this is wrong. Engage, Engage them as well. Engage exactly. Absolutely. It takes a lot of energy from them. And I from think them. that's something that mm. I found in our community that is really lacking, and I hate to point out the bad things in our community but it's an honest discussion there is barely any support for any single mothers yeah. out yeah. there yeah. even to the extent just something small and practical that if there's a majlis could you maybe have it a little bit earlier or at a more central exactly. location yes. so maybe if we don't drive we could get there yeah. and mm -hmm. because at the end of the day our job like um, you know, the ladies in the past is to relay knowledge in whatever way we can. And as mothers, a lot of the time we do that in stories, like they did, you know, mm -hmm. the events of what happened in Muharram, etc. And that's how children learn through stories and seeing things. But if we don't have a community that you know, has a little section for the toddlers and maybe provides them. For, how will we make to do this? It's taken for granted, you know, deal with it. It is taken for granted. Mm -hmm. Also, mm -hmm. if, mm -hmm. if, you're, if you're in a community where the majority of women are married, they're busy with their own families. So yeah. quite often people don't, people overlook these people. But a lot of the time when I go to majlises, mm -hmm. They come with their family, the husband, yeah. Yeah. The, the children, the, the, children, grand, the, grandma, the grandparents. Yeah. Yeah. So they've taken up six places. <laughs> <laughs> You're squeezing in with you, your children on your lap and on your head. And, mm. you know, it's like the, the Islamic centres haven't factored in that maybe the kids want to have a little lie down. It's 12 o'clock at night. Mm. So we, you know, we're trying to relay what's happened here. So I really would like a push for sisters because i always believe that if there's any movement that's meant to happen women could really make a big impact especially mm. mothers because mm. we have a lot of control over what we could do sisters could turn around and say do you need some more room can i can i move my bag for you to sit down instead of we don't even have that a lot of I the think, time um, no i think <clears throat> i agree and i think you're right there but i also think that in order for that to happen there needs to be support coming from above as well if yeah, you're saying that there's an issue in the centers mm. and the centers are not catering then you need to be going to the top and saying to whoever it is in charge you know we need to be doing something and we need to be implementing things but i do think there's um you know, as I said, if you're a sister and you're married and you're busy dealing with your family, the majority of people are not really going to be interested if your kids are sitting on your head. Yeah. Um, well, because they're I busy do. with I'm their own. I'm always trying to be like, should I move my bag? But you may be coming from a different. You may be coming from a different point of view, or, or or you may see things differently. That may mm. be something that you know mm. it's a community. Whereas mm. this this lot are thinking, well, this is my family, and I'm mm. going to protect my family. They're not really mm. interested in your family. So I think, to an extent, mm. you're right. And I think that if there is enough people saying the same thing and feeling the same way, then yes, there is something that can be done about it. But 
you know, it takes a lot to get people going. And I think there's a lot of clashing cultures as well. Yeah, mentality. absolutely. There's a, there's a totally different mentality that we're dealing with, especially when it comes to the elder generation or, or maybe the generation before that. And they don't think about these things, maybe because we're having to face different times. Mm. We, us women, want to know more. We want to be more proactive in society. But we've got our kids. So, we've got to do... Not all of us can afford nannies and childcare. Yeah. We need to bring them mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. us. That, that's where, well, then you can. your family should be quite supportive. Well, and, if you don't you know, have a family? Well, that's another that's a yeah. different ball game, then, isn't yeah, it? That, then there's yeah. other sources Great. you have to go to. Yeah. You know. So we've got so much to deal Which with. Is, we've, yeah. we've, we've got to be, you know, happy, happy, joy, joy mm. mothers. Yeah. Which is why, you know, that is why we, we have this special respect for mothers because we yeah. do a lot. Well, mm. Mothers do so a lot. No, you know, maybe, women. you know, from the outside, they, people don't see it, don't realise it, but they do a lot. And many you don't have to like be happy all the time. I, I think, I think, I've, you know, when you're upset, you're upset. And I've shed a few tears. My, my kids have hugged me and I've loved it. Mm. But I think, I think you get that sympathy and that comfort from your children as well. I mean, it's nice yeah. to be able to get that. Why should a woman has to have to come across as being strong all the time? Mm. I don't but, think it's, but it's don't the right. don't you always get um, the example of, say, Bibi Fatima, who was, you know, a wonderful, infallible woman. And let's strive to be her, but... Mm. You're like, well, I'm stuck in traffic and I'm trying to I don't think <laughs> trying to get to imagine it with a Snickers bar stuck to my head. I don't think there's anything wrong with striving, but I yeah. also think you have to be able to sit back and say, you know what, I'm being the best parent I yeah. can be. I'm being good enough. Can't be yeah, harsh on yourself stop all the time. Exactly. We're stop not, criticizing we're not, ourselves. Exactly. And I think yeah. the other thing as well is in terms of, and I, I'm, I can speak from my own mm -hmm. experience here. I only really appreciated my mum when I had my own. Yeah. Yeah, the so age old true. saying, you know, <laughs> right. what the parents used to say, you won't know until you exactly. have them yourself. Exactly, and I only really appreciated the stuff that my mum had to do when I had my own. And I think, I don't, you know, kids kids pick up and they see things, and mm. they see more than what we understand mm. that they see. Mm. And I think that... Um, quite often what happens is, you know, kids do turn around and they recognise the efforts that their parents go to. Um, so I don't think it's all done in vain. I don't think that, you know, we do all of this and we don't get any recognition. I, absolutely. I mean, like what you're saying, Sabah, your kids, that your kids hug you. Well, my, my kids, you know, they'll carry the shopping in and stuff. And I'm mm. like, oh, yeah, well, rather definitely. I'm coming over to your them. house. Yeah, yeah. 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 My kids, I make them do it. I'm like, you know, boys, I'll come, come home, come get the bags out of exactly. the car. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. Mm. But, but, you know, and, and, and they, they get to a stage where they, they want to do things because actually they want to make things a little bit easier for you. Yeah, and I'm not make mummy happy. I'm not saying that all kids want to do that. I was going to say this. No, is but it's, again, you have to realise that what, you know, what age group they're in, yeah. you know, if they're teenagers, if they, you know, how, yeah. all that matters. And what's going on for them at the time as well. So. Mm. I think there's so yeah, much. Yeah, what they're going through, exactly. you know, the difficulties that they there's themselves There's so are much. For myself, my own experience, being a mum, I, I, I always say at work on my CV or resume, my first job, I always put mum. Mm. And they're always like, shock, horror, what? what? Mm. Sorry. Mm. Like, that is the most important job that I'm ever going to mm. do. And because I, I'm a mum, mm. I think it's allowed me, it's pushed me to push my boundaries. Mm. So you know when you're really tired, but you have that extra push yes. to, oh my God, I'm going to have to make the I have to lunch. make dinner. Mm. Oh my to, God, yeah. the uniform. Yeah. And But ordinarily, you wouldn't bother. If it was anybody mm. else, you're like, mm. oh, Whatever, but what it's shown me to do is it's shown me to be be able to multitask. There's so many things that I can do. I could be sitting here talking to you. I'm thinking about dinner. I'm thinking about homework. I'm thinking about trips. There's school uniforms, yeah. Mm -hmm. And but it is a full time job, and it is emotionally. I, I find it can be exhausting. It's Sometimes draining. I just love yes. silence. Mm. So I wanted to ask you, ladies, is it really that romantic? Like, oh, we're gonna pick strawberries on Sunday and. No, not really. Really. In, in no, real practical life, not, not at no, all. No, um, no, which is why it's such, ups a, and such a great. Yeah, yeah. yeah which why is why is such a great great job? Like you call it, it's a job. I mean, nothing. Nothing then, is romantic. Marriage is not yeah. romantic. I like. Oh, you're you bursting know. the bubbles. We're going to have viewers <laughs> writing <laughs> in, telling outraged. us we're you know telling girls it's not romantic. It's no, not but Cinderella. It, like everything, it has ups. And, it has ups and downs yeah. to it, and there are hard times and struggles and things, yeah. and there are good times to it. And we have to also learn to treat ourselves. We mm. somehow, if if let's say a mother decides to leave her kids with the father and and goes for a holiday, let's say by herself with her friends. God God forbid. God forbid, you know, <laughs> she, how, you know, how dare she look, she left her kids, Don't you know, just to go and enjoy herself. Oh, she went to the movies, she went to watch a movie together with a friend. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to learn to 
to allow mothers yeah. to actually treat themselves. It's yeah. very important for their well-being and for their children's well-being. When the child sees that his mother is happy, smiling, you know, she comes back with, you know, strong and, and, and re, you know, she's she energized, refreshed, yeah. exactly. They, but we're living in such a good. judgmental society. We do. It's unbelievable. We do. If it's yeah. not your mum saying something, it's your brother. Yeah. If it's not your brother, it's somebody else. There's always your somebody who's not got... saying, no, this yeah. is the way yeah. to do it. Well, in Et fact, cetera. it should be celebrated, it should be encouraged. Mm. I want to especially give, um, you know, a shout out, I guess, to those mothers who have children with disabilities. Mm. Um, I work with um, some children who have disabilities as well, and I'm always in awe of those mothers who go the extra mile. It helps me. I really go to get inspiration from them, really, because they're so patient yeah. and they're so loving and they're giving. So it helps me, you know, when you're having a bad day to just to, to keep see, it yeah. in and not lash yeah. out. So, mm -hmm. And it can be, you know, being a mother of a child that has a disability, as you know, in this society, there are so many taboos. And being Muslim and practicing Muslim and you can't access... Say you have a, a child that is deaf, mm. very difficult for them to access Islamic knowledge mm. if you're deaf, if you're autistic. Even going to Majlises can be a nightmare, yes. you know, yeah. um, because mm. they might get bored, they might be hyperactive, you don't know. So I really want to, I commend those sisters who, mm. you know, take their children everywhere because they have no other choice to, or they need to learn. So. You know, mm. I take my hat off to mothers because there's so much that I'm learning mm. and I, I feel that if I didn't have my son, I wouldn't be the person that I am today. Mm. But it is a test and I'm, I'm all, my mantra is my son says, mommy is always tired at school. They said, oh, so name one thing about your mum and I was always tired. Oh, Any of you had that experience? Do you sometimes mm. feel like you can't be a superhero? Oh, well, like, we, yeah, there's so much there demand. Are times, yeah. Exactly, mm. again, we're living in such... Hard times. We're yeah. having to work. We're having to cook. Yeah. We're having to pick up behind the kids. We're having to do everything. So naturally, you have days where you you do fall apart and think, "Oh my God, this is getting too much." Mm -hmm. But then, you know, my motivation and my children um, when I look at them and they give me a hug and a kiss, and that just boosts me to sort of carry on with my with my day to day routine. Um, what about if your children aren't super religious mm -hmm. or aren't really well, what nice? Do we, did you <laughs> like exactly yeah. like they? They've got they've their just, own problems. You get a call from the school because <laughs> 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 your beloved son, who you thought was an angel, has actually been at the bus yeah. stop doing God knows what. Yeah, yeah, but I think you've got to be realistic. What was you doing at that age? You probably well, I was reading the Quran. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> I was reading Quran. No, I think I think that um, I think that you have to put things into context. I mean, in terms of the parenting thing, and you know, trying to be a super mum. Look, if you're if you've got your kids up and you've given them three meals, they've got dressed and they've washed, then you've really achieved something yes. for the day. But what about their Islamic knowledge? Have their Islamic their... knowledge, you know what? I've known of families that have, um, the child has been in madrasas from the age of three, and then when that child got to 18 and went to university, see you later, hijab off, yeah. drinking it's out, partying actions. for the day. Yeah, it's that what kind they of see. Thing. I think it mm. depends on how you conduct yourself. How but you don't they always yourself? blame the mother if there's a problem? I don't do. see people saying, the dad's yeah. fault well, well, we're talking about single mums, right? I'm talking about mums in mothers general. Well, yeah, I mean, what was the mother doing? Again. What did she eat when she was I mean, pregnant? Yeah, I mean, mum, mums, <laughs> mums do get that. a lot. Yeah, I mean, mums do get a lot of sick, mm. sick for it. But I think mm. it, it comes down to the same thing. I mean, I don't know why we seem to dish, dish out the judgment on mm. other people when mm. if you looked at your own track record, it mm. probably wouldn't because be that hot either. Scholars, we have some scholars, and this is so interesting. We've got a big talk about. Um, you know, the child, you know, transgressed all bounds. And then the husband turned around to the mum and said, when you were pregnant, did you pick a fruit from a tree Ouch. and not ask for permission? Is this why the child has become naughty? Yeah, actually, like, again, and she was come like, across something like, that's all. No, really, it was a serious And it's like, that's that's crazy. Crazy. did you crazy. eat some, something yeah. that wasn't halal? Was, yeah, what, what happened? So the, what the, did, did you your mum eat something, something that wasn't so halal to cause you to think that? Exactly. exactly. So why is this? And in certain cultures, they're like, why is you? Why is your son acting like this? Well, it's your son too, Exactly. And in fact, especially for boys, they look up to their dads. So they tend to follow the footsteps of, of their fathers. You know, they, they look up to, they are their role models. 
you yeah. know you affect them with your behavior as a mother but at the end they look up to their fathers they want to be like their dads I think it's both but I also think that it's an individual mm-hmm. soul it's on its own journey however you want to mm-hmm. however mm-hmm. you want to spell it out so to look for another source but we don't really sell that. We sell that as the mother is the rock, the mother is this and that, pay attention. Yeah, again, you get, you get two such pious parents. I mean, again, you yeah. talk about prophets here, you know, uh, exactly. Hazrat, yeah. the, uh, Nuh alayhi salam and his, mm-hmm. his son who yes, refused yes. to, to follow mm-hmm. him and listen to him. And again, it, you know, you can have prophets that have children that yeah. have gone against him, yeah. um, and wives that have gone against him. So yeah. if they can be two pious people, yeah. can have children that turn out to be... Exactly. It's not, you know, exactly. not going to guarantee There's you no a guarantee, child. No guarantee whatsoever. Was and we're not a tribal society. Same we're thing. not... We're not that exactly. to a certain extent we are but we shouldn't be battering ourselves to the point where we're like ruining our lives oh my god my son has turned out like this yeah as long as you've done daughter. your best you know that you, yeah. you behaved well in front of and them the rest and is in a lot of backs as well probably yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's it then you've done your best what else uh, can you do give yourself a break have yes a have a good <laughs> chat <laughs> you phrased that really well to all mothers we do salute you keep strong um Nobody knows what you do but Allah and your reward is with Allah. I hope to see you on the next episode. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. If you have been affected by any of the issues raised in Ladies First, then the following organizations may be able to provide help and advice.